Megan Annalini here at Gillette Stadium. I'm joined by Sean Leahy, our sports editor at the Boston Herald. The Patriots just won huge 23-7 over the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl rematch. And Bill Belichick just told us in the press room postgame that, you know, all facets of this team, every unit played so well. He was said he was very proud of them. But which unit really stood out to you the defense has to be the team the, the unit that jumps out here seven points allowed it was a season low uh, this is a team that was surrendering 32 points per game which is unheard of for any team unheard of for a bad team let alone a good team in the nfl through the first four games over the last three weeks they've won all three games they've surrendered less than 13 points a game that's progress uh, that's not to say that this defense is on track to be near the top of the NFL, but they're playing better. I think the lack of big plays from the Falcons today was the, the biggest thing. You know, uh, think of through the first month of the season, the Chiefs came in here and ran for big play after big play, right? The Panthers, big plays. The Texans, big plays. You didn't see big plays from the Falcons tonight. So, you know, virtually every drive was was stopped. They punted and three and out the first, twice in the first half, I think. So those, those big plays didn't allow them to gain any momentum and it allowed the Patriots' defense to stay off the field, stay fresh. That was a big factor today. Plus, you know, people want to talk about the fog. I don't think the fog was that big of a factor. Look behind us. I mean, does the fog seem like no, a big I mean, deal to you? No, I mean, we're down here now, and, you know, you actually have pretty clear vision. People are talking a lot about the fog and the fog game, and it's very exciting, but it doesn't seem like it for the players, it made much of a no, difference. I think, I think it was worse on TV. It was certainly worse. We sit, we sit up in the second level. We had a hard time seeing the other side of the fields. But down here, I don't think the players really w were affected too much by it. I think if you hear a lot about the fog, it's because the reporters and the media were annoyed that they had to watch through the fog. Yeah. Look, the other big takeaway tonight, 5-2. and two, They got the biggest, the best record in the AFC, tied with the Steelers uh, and the Chiefs. This is where you want to be if you're the Patriots. You're on top of the AFC East. It kind of sets, sets up for them to do what they usually do, provide separation between themselves and the other teams in the AFC East. We'll see if it plays out that way with, you know, they get the Chargers next week before they head into a really tough part of the schedule. But, you know, they're kind of doing what they tend to do every year, which is, you know, late October, early November, separate themselves from the rest of the competition. Great. Well, we'll stay tuned. Sean, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, I'm happy to be here.